Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a quick update here. I know it's been a little while since I've had a video. I've been traveling. I was down at GP Portland and over at Gen Con. I've got some videos that are mid-production right now. Unfortunately, my laptop turned into a brick, uh, so I'm working off of a desktop at this point, and it's taken me a little while to get the videos done. Uh, let me give you a little bit of an overview of what I'm going to be talking about in the next few videos though. Uh, first one's going to be over GP Portland. I had a great time down there. Amazing place to do trades. I picked up a lot of cards including four Black Border FBB uh, Underground Seas. Uh, put some really cool stuff into my uh, Bug Legacy deck. Uh, I had a lot of fun down there. I played a lot of modern, really cool singleton deck that I posted over on Instagram at Sartorus. And I'm going to be doing a deck tech on that particular deck. I learned a lot about the modern format while playing down there. I didn't play in the main event. I just grinded a lot on the side events and greatly enjoyed it. Um, I also ran into some friends, uh, individuals that I hadn't seen for several years. It was a big surprise to me. One of the kids that I had actually worked with at Eternal Elysium in the Portland area now happens to be one of the owners of Tokyo MTG about eight years ago. He moved over to Japan to be an exchange student and then ended up founding a business out there. So got some amazing pictures on Instagram of some foil Japanese cards. Um, Gen Con was this last week. Gen Con was an amazing place to play Magic. There were a lot of vintage decks there, 60 to 70 of them. Got to play a lot of pickup games and play in the main event. I went four and two. I was very happy with my deck. I think I could have easily went uh, five and one if I had played my first round a little more carefully. Uh, vintage is a much more complicated format than most people give it credit Four, there wasn't a single first turn kill. Most of the games that I played lasted at least six, and some of them as many as 15 to 20 turns. I was playing a bug tempo deck, which I've done a deck tech for. I'll throw a link to that here in the about section. I really, really like the tempo deck. Deathrite Shaman is a house uh, True Name Nemesis is pretty incredible. Abrupt Decay just crushes Force of Will. And Null Rod's main deck shut down half of the vintage decks out there right out of the gate. I definitely enjoy playing vintage and look forward to playing some more. Gen Con was a little bit rougher for trading. Why? Because the dealers had incredible stuff at rock bottom prices. Cash is king at Gen Con. Most of the boosts that I saw had things at 10 to 20% less than I've seen them anywhere, including at GPs. There were incredible deals out there to be had. You could even trade things in at solid amounts of credit to pick up cards. Dual lands were all over the place. Alpha and beta cards were pretty easy to find. FBVs were very easy to find. Uh, played a lot of board games while I was out there also. The two favorites for me were Five Tribe and Imperial Settlers. I may do a separate video on board games a little bit later, maybe next week, after I get caught up on all the magic stuff. I just want to let people know that I've got two uh, contest-related videos coming out. Uh, number one, I owe a contest winner video on the M15 predictions. Um, I've got all the data and I just need to pour through to figure out which was the biggest percentage gainer and which was the biggest dollar gainer and figure out who won that contest. I also have a pack opening for a Patreon who's out there. Uh, we're doing an M15 pack. I've already shot the video. I just need to finish editing it and get it uploaded. Uh, if you want to see what I've been doing, the best place recently is Instagram. S-A-R-T-E-R-U-S is my uh, Instagram name and also my Twitter name. I've got a lot of my trades up there. I think that I've done about somewhere between seven and $10,000 in trades in the last two and a half weeks alone. Uh, picked up a lot of really cool stuff for legacy and vintage. Uh, and also picked up some speculation stuff. I've got my August speculation video coming out next week. I'm working on the slides now. I'll have previews of those slides up on Patreon by Friday. Uh, thank you guys all for hanging in here while videos have been a little bit behind production schedule. 
they'll be caught up by the end of the week. Take care.